What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another Steam Deck video, and we have AMD FSR 3.1 added into five Sony games, and 3.1 brings a newer version of the actual upscaling feature over the original 3.0 that we had. So this is Horizon, Ratchet & Clank, Ghost of Tsushima, and both Spider-Man games. Now, unfortunately I don't have really good archival footage of before, even though I'll have a few comparisons here to really show image quality difference, though it's quite noticeable here locally on the screen that the upscaling for 3.1 is much better than anything we've had previously from FSR and AMD here. Now, we'll go through all five games kind of quickly and just take a quick look. This video is not meant to go too deep. I just wanted to highlight all of these games and talk a little bit about playing all of them here the past few days with this upscaling. And again, while I don't have great before comparisons. I have some here uh, to look at and I'm able to tell a little bit of difference when it comes to some of the performance, some of the ghosting or different look as far as image quality when it comes to the upscaling and it is much improved when it comes to the 3.1 something that's definitely noticeable like scenes like this running on the newer version as we kind of pan in and come closer to uh, ratchet here the fur and everything just even being upscaled doesn't quite have that outliney effect or pixelated effect whatever you want to call it a little dirty uh, on here it's much cleaner than it used to be and areas with like rain and stuff a lot of times with FSR you would just really lose quality on that and it's pretty decent if we're on quality here for FSR standing still it looks pretty good and we'll switch over here to performance quite a boost in FPS but we don't lose as much image quality as we used to though I can notice it around ratchet a bit there and an ultra performance another 8 FPS and this is where you'll start to see some of that shimmering and loss of detail in the farther distances or in the rain or that type of thing but honestly considering it runs pretty good we lose 10 FPS going back down the balanced little increase in the image quality but I would say that just based on this in Ratchet, rather than just using Balanced, if I really need to up that performance elsewhere, I wouldn't mind going up to Performance because it looks pretty good in comparison to what it used to look like running on the Steam Deck this way at 800p. It's, it's definitely much improved even though it's hard to show on YouTube and in a video like this. Now, both Spider-Man games, of course, also got the 3.1 update and are able to take advantage of that. All of these had frame gen, which we'll talk about later, but that's not great on the Steam Deck. The actual upscaling, though, is much better and much cleaner than it used to be. And side by side here, it's a little easier for me to tell too, even though it's not great exact footage. One was captured a little differently than the other one. Just looking out in the distance and trying to pick up on the ghosting or the shimmering effect or things like that, it's definitely much cleaner. And even things like his web and stuff were a bit cleaner in the 3.1 versus what I was used to back on like what we had to 2.0, 2.1, 2.2 and all of that. So yeah, ultimately a pretty decent improvement there. What's cool here is if we sit still and we go through these FSR again like we did in Ratchet, we got quality here. And we'll switch this right into performance and skip balanced. So you can see from quality to performance, you can see it around his suit and stuff, but that distant shimmering, even though there's a little bit there, isn't as bad. And it's only when we go to the ultra performance that I really start to kind of notice it out there, especially in the city there to the middle and the left. But it holds together a lot better than it used to. This is this is a much better experience as far as using FSR than what I've had previously. Uh, DLSS has always been a lot cleaner, and I think AMD's doing a good job of trying to catch up a bit there now miles morales again gets the improvements when it comes to the fsr now i couldn't see a whole lot of difference in this because of the way this was captured but locally i can see it and fps wise there's been some increases to performance here too as we go from balanced here for both the previous edition at 2.1 and 3.1 here and we'll go over into performance and you can see here 47 51 now there have been game updates and os updates and all of that as well but it's definitely running a lot better for me with all of these new updates and with FSR 3.1 and everything here. Looks great and it's running well and I'm getting a little bit better performance when it comes to FPS in Miles Morales and really over in the original Spider-Man Remastered as well. Um, Ratchet & Clank and Horizon really give me some of the most performance issues out of the five games. Speaking of Horizon... When this game launched, there was a lot of ghosting and issues around details like her hair and stuff like that that is pretty much gone and not present here that we had before, which is nice to see. A big difference in this game for me when it comes to the upscaling. Performance is still rough. Now, when we go to before, this was captured at 1080p instead of 4K, but the ghosting around some of the details in her hair and stuff, no matter what you did, was there. The upscaling just versus what it was, the image quality, um, quality around her hair being upscaled, all that kind of stuff. 
it really looks a lot better here in Horizon than what we were dealing with uh, previously. And this game definitely needs help, not just on the image quality because of the low settings, but performance wise, which unfortunately we don't get a lot of help with here. Now, if we are on FSR quality here, we'll go ahead and go through these like we did on the other games as well. We'll go from quality right on up to performance so that you can see the difference there. Again, performance would n normally have a lot more shimmering already happening just in a scene like this. And even ultra performance on this game holds it together pretty well. So the upscaling in this is really clean and really nice. You're always going to see some differences, lose some detail, all that kind of stuff. But this is a nice little leap in my opinion. And some of those stutter and weird issues we were getting in this game, like this used to run at 19 FPS right here when it launched and then it would bounce back. Those issues aren't happening. I don't know if that's related to the FSR updates or game updates or what, but it's certainly a lot better now than what it used to be. In high motion, there's still some issues when it comes to the FSR, like you see her hair flying around and all the particles and everything being the same kind of brownie color. It does cause a lot of like distortion and issues and what you might call like pixelation or ghosting around things and stuff like this. So it might not seem as clean when you're in the fast action, but it's definitely improved over what we had previously, especially when you're looking at the actual Steam Deck screen. It is just a much cleaner image, but this game really still just, I don't know, it's it's a tough one to run, still doesn't perform super great, uh, but still wanted to take a look at it here. Now our fifth game that had gotten this update was Ghost of Tsushima. Now this game was already running great from launch and it's gotten some updates that made it run even better. I'll probably have to do some more updated stuff on that. But as far as like performance, it might be a little bit better on this 3.1 versus the just a regular three we had before that didn't quite have the new upscaling uh, in it, but it is very, very similar to what we had. But if I'm looking at it closely here on the deck in person and not in a video, I can see and tell the difference in the upscaling. However, this game was already pretty clean versus like some of the other ones. This is all kind of game dependent. Even though they put these in game and in the settings, it really can look different in each one. This is another area of like these leaves and all this yellow where when I tried to go from like a balance to performance before, it wasn't quite as clean as this. And it's still, again, hard to show in this video, but I'm surprised going from some like quality or balanced all the way up to performance that it still looks this decent for FSR. So color me a little bit impressed when it comes to AMD's FSR 3.1, when it comes to the upscaling part and just making improvements to that and also decoupling frame gen so that even if you're not using this and you're using XCSS or some other upscaler, you could still take advantage of their frame gen more likely on another device though, because this device still doesn't really love frame generation for whatever reason. Um, if you try to kick it on, you don't get the performance boost that you should get. We're certainly not doubling our FPS or more and frame times get a little goofy and it just never feels quite right. And this isn't a hardware thing because we can actually um, run this better on Windows with Steam Deck than we can on Steam OS. So I do hope that they wind up, maybe there's a way to make this work better in game from frame generation in the future, but you can see on Windows, any of these games I boot up and use frame gen, um, I can get a much better, it's a smooth experience. Frame times do pretty good. It doesn't feel janky or weird. And in a lot of areas, I could just lock this game to 60 FPS on Windows because of frame generation. So I wish we could get that working better over on Steam OS because it's obviously not a hardware drawback as much as like driver or software or OS, but that's pretty much gonna wrap it up, guys. Look, a pretty quick look. I just want to breeze through these games and quickly show some stuff. Talk about FSR 3.1 a little bit. I really do like what I'm seeing with the image quality. It's good to see because we are gonna need upscalers and frame gen and all this stuff in the future to keep running games on handhelds even as we get new hardware. It's just gonna be something, so it's nice to see that technology get better. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.